Hi, I'm Kelsey from Crafting for Weeks, and I'm going to be showing you how to crochet an eye cord. Today I'm working with a 4.5 millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. I'm going to start with a slip knot. Once you got that on there, you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, so now in that second chain from your hook, you're going to pull up a loop. And in the third chain from your hook, pull up another loop. You should now have three loops on your hook. Now you're going to grab the base of those second two loops and slide them off your hook. Make sure you hang on to them so they don't slip out. Now, yarn over and do a slip stitch in that first loop. Insert your hook into the second loop and do a slip stitch. Then you're going to insert your hook into that third loop and complete another slip stitch. And that right there is the gist of the eye cord. You're going to repeat those steps, giving yourself some space, pulling out the hook, and completing a series of three slip stitches across. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more rows just so you guys can watch me. And um, then I'm going to show you how to finish it off and what to do if you accidentally drop a stitch. Okay, just walking you through again. You're going to slip stitch in the first loop, insert the hook in the next loop, slip stitch, insert the hook into that third loop, and slip stitch again. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more rows so you can have an idea of what it looks like when it's a little bit longer, and I will meet you there. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to finish this off. Now my preferred way to finish is to yarn over and pull through all three loops, and then once you get there, I chain one and then tie it off. Now since this is just a series of slip stitches, you can really finish it off any way you want. You can get creative with this, so I'll show you a few other options. So let me get these loops back on here. Now one way to do it is to yarn over and pull through a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two again. This is more of a bind off technique and it gives you a nice rounded edge. If I show you the other end of the cord, you can see that they're a, a little more rounded on each end. So that's one way to do it. And the last way I'm going to show you is even more simple. Let me get these loops back on the hook. And what we're gonna do this time is just pull that first loop through the other two. Now if you do this one, make sure you tie it off. But really, you can just play around with it and find a finish that works for you. Okay, so let's take a look at this cord. As you can see, it's pretty stretchy and it's really sturdy. Okay, so one common problem you see with these is you accidentally drop a loop when you're pulling up that first slip stitch. Now, I'm gonna show you what to do if you run into that problem. So here I am dropping that first loop. Oops, okay. So what I do is I pull it out and I pull out all the stitches of that row. That way I can see the three stitches I completed from the previous row, and I just pick them back up and start over. Okay, so that is the crochet eye cord. It's really simple, and I think you guys are gonna love incorporating this into your designs. It's perfect for backpack straps or drawstrings. It can be a little slow going at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be moving right along. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check out my website at craftingforweeks.com.